Hi there, we're broadcasting live from Boofies during the zombie apocalypse. Strange situations for many of us right now. Uh, most of the state is uh, in uh, stay-at-home lockdown. And many of you are working from home, and many of you have dogs that are, quote, helping you work at home. We know a lot of people have been coming and looking for things to keep their dogs distracted so they can get some work done. And if you're one of those people wondering uh, how to focus on your job and keep your dogs focused on something else, Jacinda's going to give you some suggestions for uh, improving life at home and the workplace. All right, good news. We got a lot of options for you. So the biggest thing to remember is that um, just like you're at home, you're trying to get stuff done, you're trying to be productive, your dog craves that ability to be productive as well. So giving them a job to do at home while you're doing your job at, their de at your desk is going to keep them off of your computer and out of your face. So let's get some new, new jobs for your dog. So the first one I wanna show you is this everlasting treat ball. So what this is, it's by Starmark, and it is a ball, you can see on both sides, that you can play and you can throw, but it also has this little treat in there. And what you'll do, or what your dog will do, is they'll try to chew at that, but because it's in this little circular ball, it's gonna take them a little while to get at that. So there's a big benefit to that instead of um, a classic bone or a classic bully stick in that it's gonna take them much longer to get in there. The ball is also gonna try to roll away from them as they go. So that's a really good, really long lasting treat that you can use over and over. And then the next one we've got here is this Nina Otteson Treat Tumble. Nina Otteson is a fantastic trainer from Sweden. She came up with a lot of these um, treat toys. And what you do with this guy is you see it's got these two little holes. And you can actually use your dog's normal meal with this. So I've got here, we've got our Stella and Chewy's raw baked kibble. And all you have to do is you just kind of chuck a couple pieces in there. And your dog is going to roll it around. You see those pieces are going to come out. They'll eat up the pieces. They'll roll it around a little bit more. And that's a really good way to use the dog's normal meal as also a an enrichment. Way to slow down fast eaters too. Fantastic option as well, Lisa. Thank you. This is going to be really similar to that. That's Instead my of <laughs> I love that toy. you personally, Lisa. Me personally, yeah. Yes. You want me to put some snacks in there? Yes. So this one is another Starmark option, the Bob a lot. I tell people it's like a weeble. Weebles wobble, but they don't fall down. So you're going to put your treats in here at the top. And it holds a lot. So you can use a lot of kibble in here as well if you want to just put their normal meal in there in the morning. Leave them in the kitchen with it while you go off and you take a shower or whatever it is you need to do. Dog's going to hit it and roll around like that. I've got it locked, so that doesn't really help. And then you can see it's going to come out there. Again, they're going to eat that. They're going to go back to it. You can change the size here depending on how big your kibble is or how difficult you want it to be. These are pretty big, so we've done the big one. But if you've got a small kibble, you can do it down there and make it a little bit harder. That also works for cats, especially if you leave this ribbon on. Uh, cats can learn how to pull it with their paws and get the treats out that way. So if you have kitties that are getting a wee bit annoying, this can work too. Keeps them occupied with their food and gives them a little more fun inside. Definitely, definitely. All right, we got a lot more options here, so we'll keep moving. Another similar one um, to this one where the dog's going to push it around. Big benefit to this one, which is the Planet Dog Maisie, is that, as you can see, it's got a little maze inside. I actually tried this before and I couldn't get the kibbles out, so I think my dog is smarter than me. <laughs> you kind of shake it up there to get all the kibbles down at the bottom. And then, rather than them all just tipping out there, they're going to have to mix it back and forth. You can see, I still can't get all of those out. They're going to go everywhere. But your dog's going to have a ton of fun with that one. 
As I'm going through, you already see there's a ton of options. And one of the things to keep in mind is that you want to add a lot of variety to your dog's um, job here. We don't know how long we're gonna be working from home, but your dog is working from home every day. So this is something that you can start to rotate through. You can give your dog something different every week. You can give your dog something different every day. And that's really gonna give them the mental enrichment that they crave. So definitely try two, try three, every dog likes different ones. A lot of people have seen this one. This is your classic Kong. This one is the Extreme, which is the durable rubber, but you've got the plastic, uh, the red ones too, which most people have seen. Um, before I show you my favorite way to use this, let's talk about sizing. You want to size one size bigger than you think you need. So this one is a medium. They say this one is to um, 15 to 35 pounds. You don't want to give this to um, a dog any bigger than that because you don't want it to get stuck in their mouth. Um, but you also want to have enough space in there to put some food in there, which is what we're going to do right now. So a lot of people use peanut butter in these, which is great. And we have some amazing pet safe peanut butter here that you can use. But especially if you're at home and you're giving your dog a lot of this, you want to be using something that's going to be healthy for them so that you're not feeding them a lot of fat. So we're going to start with a little bit of that kibble. Toss it in there. The reason I do that is because your dog's tongue isn't going to be able to fit in the bottom there. And you don't want to get anything nasty out of the tip there. Believe me, it's no fun to clean these. Um, so put a little kibble in there, that way that doesn't get mucky and your dog can clean it all the way out. And you can see it just fits, you probably can't see all the way through there because it's dark, but it just fits that bottom third. It's only a couple of pieces. Then you're going to take your wet food. So this one, the essence, I absolutely love. Bonus, it's on sale right now for a dollar off of a can, mm. so this is a really good opportunity to try it. But just make sure you're getting something that's pate. It's that smooth stuff that you really think that you should spread on some, uh, some toast if you get hungry, the zombies come out. But you take a little scoop, you stick it in there, you pat it in. Give that to your dog first so they get used to, to using the Kong. But once they've cleaned that out, do the same thing but freeze it. So that's gonna give you a much longer time to be able to be with your dog on that side of the room and you on this side of the room, um, it's gonna last a lot longer for them. Bonus points for that one is if you've got a puppy, the Frozen Kong is really, really soothing for those teeth and those gums. So aside from being fantastic to give a job, give a dog a job at home, these are my number one recommendation for puppies because they're just a fantastic teething tool. That's all well and good, but what if your dog is a rocket scientist and needs something a little bit more exciting? We've got something for them too. So we got another great Nina Otteson toy here, and this is a scent puzzle. So you start out by pulling all these guys off. You put some treats in there, and just show your dog that at first, and they'll come along and they'll eat it up. And then you want to cover it, and they're going to have to learn how to knock that off so that they can get to their treats. At first, if you put some in each one, that's gonna make it a lot easier for them. And then as they get better and better, then you can hide it in just one of them and they're gonna have to knock off everything to get those. So you can make that one easier or harder depending on your dog's preference. And you can also get a lot of their normal daily meal into them through that. Again, like Lisa said before, that's a really great way to slow them down. And a very similar option here. This one is a pet rageous. And what do they call it? They call it something funny. Yeah. Think rageous. Yes, the pet rageous, think rageous interactive pet toy. So, same concept, but your dog is going to have to learn how to do a little bit of a different movement with their nose. Instead of flicking it all the way off, they're going to have to spin it around. So exact same concept, just get them thinking a little bit, get them working, get them away from your computer. And once again, actually both of these toys are appropriate for kitties as well. Yes, definitely. Okay, just a few more here, although 
if you guys come in, I will literally talk about these all day, every day. So one of the things I really like about this one, the Orby Tough by Planet Dog, first of all, it smells amazing. Second of all, you can make it harder by not just putting your treats in there, but when you flip it inside out, it creates this little lip that the treats get stuck in. Then you can take another ball and you can stick it in there. So if you've got a dog that really needs a multi-step puzzle, this is a great way to add those multiple steps in there. Another I could play fun, with this all day. I know. Another fun way to use the holy rollers, which is what that is right there, especially the bigger ones. You can put uh, chews like ears, lamb ears, and some of the smaller ones, or even pig ears in the big ones, so your pets have to work even harder to get access to their favorite chew. You can also put other toys inside, ones that make a noise, whether it's a squeaky toy that sounds like a bird or something that jingles. These are great ways to layer toys and uh, keep it even more interesting for your pup. Excellent. Thank you, Lisa. Really good point. And actually, that brings us to this guy. If your dog is one of those, I just want to sit down and settle with something to chew, we definitely recommend the combo of a Benabone with a bully stick. So these guys are specifically made to hold that bully stick in place. I'm actually pushing really hard on that and I can't get it to come through. But that's exactly what it's meant to do because you know your dog is going to run all the way down to the bottom and then it's going to try to swallow that last inch, at least mine does. This way you know that you've got that safety of that last inch not going down the throat. Dogs also love holding this with their paws. So that just makes those guys last a little bit longer, makes them a little bit safer. And uh, you can use that with a wide variety. You can use the with the gullet sticks, you can use it with the bully sticks. Um, yeah, it's just a lot of options with that. So I think that's everything I've got up here. Like I said, there's a lot of a lot of other options. Um, we've got, of course, our whole section of natural chews. You've got your antlers, you've got your bones. Um, we have the frozen bones in our freezers um, that you're welcome to go grab yourself or you're welcome to ask us if you don't want to go into the freezing cold freezer. Um, but you can do the same thing with those as we did with the Kong. When they're done cleaning them out, restuff them with food. Um, of course, added benefit is it's going to help clean your dog's teeth. It's going to give them natural digestive enzymes. Um, so not only are you giving them a job to do, but you're going to get a lot of other benefits with that as well. Um, I think, I can't think of anything else. Uh, we are open. We're open. We are <laughs> That's open. a really good important Yes, play. we are open during regular hours during the zombie apocalypse as an essential business. Uh, we are able to stay open to make sure all the pets are properly fed during the, uh, stay at home mandate so come down and see us we are open monday through saturday 9 a.m to 8 p.m we'll be open open sundays from 10 a.m to 7 p.m uh, you're welcome to come into the store if you are in good health know how to cover your coughs and sneezes and aren't like licking our doorknobs and floors also we offer curbside service if you don't want to come into the store at this time just give us a call at 505-890-0757 you can send us a message, direct message through uh, Facebook as well. Let us know what your order is and we'll get you started and uh, get you taken care of while we're in these strange, uncertain days. Stay healthy out there and we'll see you soon.